It's me, Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. In this tutorial, we will learn about how to measure the power dissipation or the watts consumed or simply called as the wattage within the easyedia.com. For it, we have a built-in uh, watt meter that is uh, here you can see on our left side. So click on it and then click on the main window and it will be dragged out like this. Now we will make a simple circuit in which we will use a simple working element and then we will measure the power or voltage uh, consumed by this uh, element. So we will go and we will search for our resistor. Okay, this is our working element. Okay, now we will take what's called as the voltage source, or simply we can say power source. This is our power source. You can see it out. It is the DC power source. Okay, and in the last, we need one ground and one switch. Okay, so switch is here that is SPST single pole single throw switch okay and ground okay now all the elements are there okay okay now like this and like this positive side of the ampere meter will be connected with this 1k resistor and negative side with ground okay because the current or, or ammeter must be in series with the element while what about voltage for voltage we have to connect the voltmeter in series and as the meter will multiply both of these after measurement that is the voltage and current and then it will show the power okay we will also need to change our to 5 5 volt okay now we need to do one more thing and that is to change the transition time or no need okay you, you can run it out now here we can see that our switch is open so no current is flowing or if there is any current it is very small leakage current so we are getting approximately zero on the watt meter now we will close our switch here and now we will uh, run our simulation and here it is 0 0.025 because our resistor is of 1k if we reduce the value of resistance to 50 just 50 ohm then our voltage will be increased why it is so because if the resistance is less more current will flow and more is the voltage now it is 0.5 nearly 0.5 so hopefully you got the concept that how we can measure the power or voltage within the easy eda so thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe.